Hi, I'm Chris Merwindus, and hey, you can do this. Wait for it. This is content hide D. What you're not hearing right now is ACDC. And the whole idea from that is I needed to develop a plugin that would let me play this stuff and show what it does on the meter. Because this meter is uh, the thing I've released just recently. And the idea is to be able to illustrate stuff like the value of peak energy, which is what you see in the top meter here, slew energy, which is what we see here, and zero cross energy, which is what we see down here. And I want to demonstrate it on stuff that I can't actually play as a react. And so here we are. I'm going to play this track all the way through to the end. And you're only going to hear little tiny glimpses of it. Because of this plugin, Content Hide D, you can see there are no controls on it. But you can get a bit of a sense of what the sound is underlying the images I'm showing. So my idea here is start doing my uh, evergreen stuff. This defines evergreens. And the meter is there to be able to illustrate where the loudness is. Of things are. Like this track is normalized. The hottest peak goes all the way up to this top edge up in top. You'll notice that a lot of the peaks don't go up that high. This one, 60 dB down. This, 12 dB down. This, 18 dB down. So part of the sound of this track goes all the way up to the peak. Might be able to see it at some point. It'll be a tiny red spot right up the top. You'll also notice that the peaks are showing with these vivid blue uh, colors. That means it synchronizes with the brightness. And I've been recognizing that as a hit record style sound. But because of this plugin, Content Hide D, you can kind of sort of hear what it sounds like to have this hit record sound on the original vinyl. And yeah. That is the plugin. Technically, if you can build it, you can already use meter. Part of my purpose here is to release this meter plugin so that you can mix into it. And that way you can dial in stuff, keep it reasonable. There's room to make this be a little bit louder, but you don't have to. Like, see over here? This is the peak of the entire track. This is off the original vinyl record. And this is what sold millions of millions of copies. And it's fading away. So on that note, you can see even as it's fading away, it is still 100% hit record. And there you have it. So. This is the actual plugin, Content Hide D. Use this, and you can do what I did to the sound, which is make it cut out almost all the time. It cuts in a little tiny bit smoothed, but not so much that it's really, I don't want to pop on the beginning, but it comes in real quick, comes out real quick. I'm given to understand that the longest time that Content ID will recognize stuff. Although this is a good test, you'll find out whether Content ID recognizes this stuff, because if it flags this video, 
uh, the plugin didn't work. But the times that people talk about when they say, what's the shortest amount of time that I can legally play? Well, technically, the shortest amount of time you can legally play is zero. However, Content ID will lock on to you at uh, somewhere less than five seconds, something like that. So this is around one second. It'll just give the tiniest of glimpses because this is not for listening to the music through. This is for being able to put on things like the Beatles or whatever. In a context like this, where we are showing the results on a meter, I could be playing it with no audio at all, at which point nothing would be able to stop me doing that. But I made this plugin content hide D because I wanted to be able to do this and have you hear little glimpses of about how loud that is relative to other stuff you might hear. What it sounds like when it does, which is way more important, like the, the tonal character of S's, the tonal character of the guitars, tonal character of drums, how all that stuff sits when you have a track that is capable of doing numbers like that. And my assumption, <clears throat> there was a time in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, when stuff wasn't as bright as it could be, and it left a little on the table as far as what you could do with hit record sound. There was a time, such as around this time and in the 80s, where you were using stuff that could bring dial in the tone. This is, of course, a Mutt Lange mix. He was real good at doing this. But this is not the only place you'll find this kind of sound picture. And then there is a time after the 80s where stuff just started getting brighter. And so the brightness started going beyond the zone. And then, of course, in the current day, everything is so loud that this entire meter would just be a giant mass of splat and everything would be completely clipped. And the highs would also be completely splatted the entire time. Interestingly, though, hit records, even in the current day, when they have quieter bits, the quieter bits end up sounding like the louder bits on classic hits and vinyl records and things. And they follow the same rules. So again, this that I'm putting out is Content Hide D. It's the plugin that made the music stop so that I could put this on the internet and show you. I've already got meter available. I'm not able to build it completely, but I'm working on it. And we'll see how far that goes. We'll see where that leads me. And believe me, I've got a lot of interesting stuff I'm working on at the moment. And some of it is a little bit more covert. I don't want to drop everything all at once. But um, I'm going to have a bunch of interesting EQ things coming. And I'm real interested in where I can take uh, the next console designs. Because right now what I'm looking into is whether I can do console and EQ designs that give you this type of behavior more easily than you get out of stock DAW processing. And with that, I'm going to uh, say goodbye and get back to work because there is such a lot to do. I'm not going to have builds of meter just yet, but I've started, I've got one person who said that they were able to build the meter plugin on Linux and had some suggestions. I tried the suggestions. They didn't work. We'll see how this goes. And yeah, I'm going to continue showing people what meter does because like I said, source code is out there. Now this is GPL open source. And so if you can make this build, you can have it. And in fact, you can build it yourself, go out there and make your own version of it with your own GPL open source plugin and do that. But I am furthering the building of the full on Air Windows, uh, juice based. It's also VST3, by the way. Um, I'm moving along with that as fast as I can. And in order to keep from losing my mind over it, I am having an interesting time working on equalizers and other things. And we'll see where all this goes. Until next week, 
where there's likely to be either the loudmaker plugin discontinuity or a filter of some kind or other. Until next week, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.